Welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza. We are playing Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super NES back in 1996. Uh, although I'm playing on the Wii, uh, playing the e -shop, or the Wii Shop version, not the eShop. Um, so we just beat our third boss of the game and got our first star piece. And we just rescued the Chancellor, cleared the castle, everyone's happy. Um, getting everything back together here. My legs are killing me because I've got them crossed on this chair like a moron. Alright, how about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything! That would be Frog Fuchsius. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm from Mal- I'm Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. So... The Chancellor doesn't care that Mallow claims he's a frog and is totally not one, but whatever. Apparently nobody lies in this world. Unless you're a croco or something. Why did I even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. So, we remember, he was here to run an errand. Oh, exposition. Could Mac, sword-like monster who crashed in the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on toward the Karo Sewers. So once again, it's Karo Sewers rather than Turtle Sewers, and I wonder if that's a translation error or, or if that was intentional. Um, guess we'll never know, and it probably doesn't freaking matter. So we came here because Mallow needed to trade a frog coin for a thing. Hooray MacGuffins. So the item shop douchebag gives it. It's a cricket pie. Gross. Um... But I guess if you're a frog, that sounds like a freaking delicacy. Whatever. Grandpa will apparently be delighted. So, shop owner has nothing new. I think we've fully healed, right? Yep, everything's fully healed since we beat a boss. So we're gonna go ahead and save. But we're not gonna stay the night here at the inn. I think saving is actually pointless here because I think there's a save point, like, right off the bat in the next game. Or next area. So... Nothing here. Let's see if Hidden Dude has anything to say. Trample the monsters. Smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me. On this one. I'm implying he's lying to everybody. But I just said nobody lies in this place. Maybe now I'm lying. So we're going to move on to the second overworld area. We are here at Karo Sewers. Nice little waterfall, but we can't quite get there yet. So we're going to start off down in the sewers. Watch out for Balome, whoever that is. Probably a little dark, so keep alert. You got it, buddy. So this is the... Oops. This is the... <laughs> this is the first, uh, rather... Difficult dungeon, but it's not difficult... Enemy-wise, it's difficult stamina-wise. Yes, I know how to enter a freaking pipe. So... There's actually an order to how you're supposed to do these pipes, and I'm trying to remember the order because I kind of suck at remembering this stuff. Like, I remember timing and everything okay, and like, if I still had my touch on this game, I would remember literally everything about it. That's the point of the touch I was talking about in an earlier episode. But, okay, so here's my first status ailment. This is fear. If I remember right, fear either lowers my attack or lowers my defense or both, but it doesn't affect magic, so they can fear Mallow all day. I don't really give a crap. Um, ah, this is actually the way forward, and I don't want to be here yet. Which I know sounds weird, but bear with me on this. Uh, maybe I do want to be there? I know I, I... Oh, yeah, wait, it doesn't matter. I can go there. Okay, because what I'm trying to get to... And enemies are usually finite um, in areas. Okay, here we go. This is the box I wanted. So, this is a mimic. Um, I forget what his actual name is. Panderite. Okay. Um, mimics are jerks. Just like in all RPGs, mimics are incredibly strong. And even though we're hearing the standard battle theme... Okay. Did not realize that wouldn't cause any damage. So, see, that's a fairly significant amount of damage he just did to us. Um, this fight's gonna take me a while. 
Oh, good. We can now test what fear does. So Mallow do did 16 hit points of damage under normal circumstances. If I remember right, he's only going to do 8 now since he's... Yeah, okay. Because I mistimed it. So he only did 4. Right. Okay. Oh, God. That hit hard, man. So, yeah, he only does 8. So it does... What the fuck? Ha <laughs> ha! Blocked it, bitch! Anyway, so okay, fear only... Fear forces you to only use half damage. Or give half damage. That's not good. Timing there is when you... When the cloud starts to disappear. So I got it. You heard the one-up sound. Uh, Mario's just gonna have to do most of the offense, if not all the offense here, while Mallow keeps them both alive. Um... Although, since the hit point scale is so low... Wait, what? Oh, he's no longer afraid. Okay, good. Yeah, most status ailments wear off after a few turns. There we go. So, you always want to kill Mimics, because even though they're difficult, they always give you some good stuff. Like, here I got a flower jar and a true form pin. True form pin allows me to avoid being turned into a scarecrow or some shit. It's weird. So, I jump in there, I jump, I jump back in, and the reason I do this is this is, like, the only box in the entire game that does this but it actually comes back and gets you some cash money here. All right, I think there's a hidden box on top of that too, but we'll, we'll have to, it'll take a while before I can deal with that. So this is how Mario swims, and basically if you can see his shadow, you, oops, try to avoid him. If you can see Mario's shadow, he cannot jump out, but if you do see his shadow, he can, wait, I think I said that backwards. If you see Mario's shadow, he can't jump out. If you do not see Mario's shadow, he can jump out. Uh, you can't just jump out anywhere, unlike, say, a standard Mario game. Um, but, hey, this is not a standard Mario game. So, so you can see his little shadow there. So I just have to swim through this air. God damn it. Freaking cheap cheeps or gobies. So, usually I conserve magic, but these guys are so freaking annoying. Yeah, that's that's good. They're weak against lightning since they're in water. Makes sense. Alright, so... Alright, so now we're gonna go the way forward. Alright. So here we are. Now these mouses... <laughs> these mice... Grammar. Um... Different classes of monsters give different chances of getting those bonus flowers, and mice almost always cough them out like that. Once again, my favorite. So Mario gets a free turn. How do you straight up miss that, freaking Mario? The hell is wrong with you? That never happens. Ugh. So attacks like that are weird, because the first time you're hit by any given attack animation, you have no idea where the timing is. You just kind of have to wing it. Uh, usually the attack animation is, or the, the time you hit it is right when the attack animation ends. Basically when you hear the sound of being hit. Um, although some, like there, you basically heard two clunks, and the uh, timing on that one is the second clunk, so, or slap. Ugh. Wasn't on that one, though. So, Mario's hit points are getting a little questionable there. Maybe I should just stick with magic for Mala. I mean, I'm, that's how I'm leveling him up, so. Yeah, bring it. Um, they're, haha, I have antidote pins. You can't poison me, douche. Um, so, Wow, I'm surprised that did not kill him. I'm surprised that didn't kill the ghost. Uh, anyway. I actually forget what I was saying. Again, I tend to do that when I do Let's Plays. I have trouble concentrating, especially if I'm carrying the show by myself. I have trouble remembering my trains of thought. Um... Oh, oh, finite enemies. Most, um, most areas in this game have finite enemies, and as is my usual practice, I go through and kill just everybody, because that way I maximize my experience and 
my income and all of that stuff. Um, shit, mistimed it. Oh, it didn't matter. But, uh, and that's the kind of stuff I was saying I, I won't do on camera, probably. Unless you guys really want to see it now. If I fall off of there and jump, I think I get a hidden button. But I'm not going to do that. Only because it takes so damn long to get... Okay, star. Ah, level up. You saw that. So, god damn it, Mario. As soon as it fades, boom, we get to the level up screen. Mario hits level six. That's an even level. Oh, and he learned super jump. Super jump is hilarious. We're going to go ahead and just do that to an enemy here. Super jump um, is awesome. Basically, when you do super jump, every timing adds to the jump. And you can jump 100 times onto an enemy. And I will demonstrate here on Hobgoblin. Not that I can do 100. I've never been able to do 100. So let's try this. Ugh. Damn good damage, though. Um, but the the problem is the the uh, timing severely changes after I think ten or twelve successful jumps, and it's it's a very difficult challenge to pull off a hundred jumps, because um, any one missed timing will ruin it, and the window actually shrinks as you get closer. So like once you're in the nineties, the window to do a successful timing is almost nothing. I mean, you really have to nail it. Um, so this is when I use my flower jar, because I only have one flower point, and now I have 28 flower points. That's tactical use of your flower jar and flower tab. Uh, anyway, so, but super jump is like Mario's ace in the hole, because if you're fighting a boss and you have really good timing on super jump, then you can pretty much blow through this entire game real fast because um, most enemies can't, most bosses can't stand up to Mario's jumps uh, if you time it that well that often. Alright, so Mallow has learned Psychopath and I will show you what that is. It's pretty cool. Um, basically, Psychopath allows you to not only look at hit points, but it lets you read a monster's thought if you time it correctly. So we're going to go ahead and use Psychopath on this mouse. And the timing is when the two spotlights line up. Got it. And he's thinking, squeak, squeak. He has 32 hit points and he thinks, squeak, squeak. And it works on bosses too, which is cool. So you can uh, read a boss's thought. Uh, it's one reason to have, st to have Mallow around, because he's the only one who can do that. If I remember... <laughs> Bye, rat. Um, every magic thing in this game can only be done by one character. Now, there are some, um, so, like, that mimic each other's effects, like, Mallow has HP rain. I didn't even attempt to time that one. Anyway, uh, Mallow has HP rain, which is a heal, and one other character, who I won't spoil yet, in the party also has a single target heal. Um, so, it's a similar effect, even though it's not the exact same thing, but whatever. Uh, for the most part, everybody's magic attacks are their own, which is cool. I mean, it gives you, whoops, Thunderbolt. It gives you a uh, reason to have variety in your party and to really customize how you want to play, because if you want to play the direct route, there's, there's basically uh, in the game, there's two mages and then one who is almost fi totally physical, and then two, Mario and another one, who can basically go either way, although Mario is more physical than magic, but he could go either way. Um, so you can customize the party however you want. Like, if you want to go all power, you can just pick Mario and then the two non-mages, and you're, you know, it's just punchy-kicky. And I actually had names for all, all the teams, and I'll show you once I get all five characters. Um, but that won't happen for a while. Ugh, come here, jerk faces. Man. Hard to catch you guys when you keep disappearing on me. Why are you making my job difficult? I'm here to wipe you all out. Ah, mistimed it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, why must Elegy have such a long freaking animation? Ah, uh, oh, that sucks. Silencing my mage, that is not good. I'm pretty sure there's a, uh... I think one of the ultimate accessories is a prevents... Yes, in fact, I know... I, I don't remember its name, but I know who I always put it on. Anyway, there's an accessory that, um... Prevents all status ailments, which is very useful. But there is a... There is an accessory that prevents silence, which is... At least for Mallow, pretty much necessary as you get deeper into the game. Um, I tend not to throw away or sell any of my accessories because you never know where you're going to end up. And you never know, um what the enemies are going to be capable of. Now this is interesting. So I'm feared and he's doing elegy and it doesn't work. In this game you can only be affected by one status ailment at once. The first one that hits you. So Mario was already feared so elegy is cancelled because you know he can't be silenced. Um, which is another mark of the game being made for not you know casual it's more for casual RPGers than like the Final Fantasy players and the D&D &D players and so forth. Not that the, I think D&D &D had a game back then, but you know what I'm saying. So... It's hard to take a screamer ser Like, it's hard to take scream seriously when you look like that. Just... Bleh. Mouth all wide open and shit. Okay, so we hit the switch. The water has been drained, we jump on this, we go all the way out to the beginning, but we're still okay, as long as I don't leave the whole area, the enemies will not come back. So, we just hop out, save, and we continue forward. Hoping to beat this, beat the boss in this episode, but it may not happen unless I let the episode go a little long. Can I just hit him? I sure can't. Alright. So, we've gone through basically every pipe in this whole shindig. Um, except one, which was buried underwater, and now that the water is drained, we can go get to it. Simple puzzle. I have way too many mushrooms, I need to sell some of these off. Okay, so, get through that, you can tell where I've been from all the damage. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll be able to beat the boss here. The episode will go a little long, but that's okay. And this will catch me up to where I was before I had to have the great four-episode four wipe due to my own stupidity. <laughs> or not really stupidity, but ignorance. If I remember right, I can't get that yet. Like that's a that's a thing. This is this is for a much later secret, if I remember right. Or maybe I'm wrong and I'm just gonna have to go back in here in a half hour and get it anyway, but we'll we'll burn that bridge when we get there. So yeah. Him. So I love the smiley face thing. That's basically the let's get the hell out of here because I'm not ready, uh happy face. Um, but we're fully healed up. Um, full flowers, full everything. We're just gonna go ahead and get that guy. The loom? Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Mo ho ho. It's a snack attack. Alright, so next boss. Um, so I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna psychopath him, see how many hit points I'm dealing with here, and hopefully see what his thoughts on the matter are. 462 hit points. I just wanna sleep. Yeah, I think that reminds me of something. Or I, I think that is a hint for something. Oh, Jesus. But anyway. Alright, so we're just gonna use our our standard strategy. Yeah, because we'll be done in like five turns if we keep this up. So we'll just use standard strategy. Yep, this episode will go along. Stick for a body, head full of straw, give me a scarecrow, raw, 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 and that sucks. God, that looks like he's shooting that from under his armpit. Okay, now, I can't attack, but I can do specials. That's all I can do. Well, attacks, 
Yeah, like that. Okay, so... That's fine. We'll just switch to jumps for Mario. This doesn't actually affect power. So... Mario's jumps have not gone down. But I lose the ability to attack, which kind of sucks. The hunger! The hunger! Oh, now that sucks. So, we're gonna super jump his ass. Nice. I think I have another one of those in me, don't I? Yup! Alright, let's do it. Yeah, Messed up the timing on that one a bit. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. See ya, dude! Alright. And Mario turns back into normal. In this game, um, any of those, uh, 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 any status ailments, um, go away after fights. Any fight, not just bosses. So, we're stupid and we're just standing here. Quick, Mario, hit the button! And Mario does, and then Mallow falls off the button for no damn reason. And we're gone. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the first coerced minigame, and this is what I wanted to talk about um, before. Uh, one of the revolutionary things with Super Mario RPG is that it basically forced you to deal with mini games to advance the story. And so in this mini game, we need to try to get the coins here. And I'm tapping the button to swim against the current, but fat lot of good it does. Ah, oh, damn. There's a, uh, see, if I remembered, there's actually a path of these, uh, holes you can take to do certain things. I don't remember them all, and I think I screwed this one all up. Oh no, this one's actually neutral. But you get special rewards if you take certain paths, certain directions. Um, if I remember right, that green coin over there is a red herring? Maybe? Oh, that douchebag steals my coins. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. I got stabbed with a fork. That's, that's so much worse than just getting my coins stolen. But yeah, there's a, uh, there's a whole strategy involved, and again, if this was 1996, I would actually know all this, because this is one of my few games, so I played the holy hell out of it. Uh, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I did. I just ruined everything. Oh, except he gives me a flower. Okay, so I lost some coins, but I gained a permanent flower out of it. So that's, that is useful. And we'll pop out over here. But you can go through these mini games anytime and continue to collect rewards and stuff, which is cool. Oh, oh, and then the second part. Barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Fuck off. Okay, so. That's crap. And here I used to remember the uh, order when to bump the barrels and when to keep jumping. Here I bump. Oh man, I can't believe I remember this still. It's so easy to mistime your jumps. There was a pattern to it. And if you get so many, I think you have to get 30 coins and you get something super awesome at the end of this. Oh, shit. Oh, God. But I'm pretty sure I completely blew that. Oh, I remember the pattern of this now. If the other row's coins are together, like in the next one, then you want to switch. And if they are. Oh, God. Forgot about him. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, man. Oh, this is taking me back. Nostalgia. Oh, uh, nostalgia's worth an extra five minutes on the episode. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? You got 39 coins! Have some frog coin. Okay, one frog coin for 60 of your coins. Right. Got 39 coins, but that's not enough to cash in. But, so those coins are, um, just for this minigame. 
but I got a Knock Knock Shell, which is a weapon for Mario, if I, I think it's for Mario, right? Yeah, it's for Mario. Attack goes up, changes his uh, attack animation a bit, but it's pretty sweet, and it gives me more damage. Oops. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to save here, and we'll just pick up right... Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I have to pay 30 coins, and then I can go through the course again and get more stuff. So we are not going to give this another shot. We're going to save. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically what they do with the minigames. They force you to play it once for the plot, and then you can play it again to gather more stuff, and it's pretty fun. And the mini, if I remember, there's like 40 to 70 mini games in this game, no, not 70, that's Mario Party. Like, I think there's about 40 mini games in here. Um, and they're all fun and they're all unique and they're all very clever. So you will see more of that as we continue the series next time on Pyro Falcon Plays or Pyro Falcon Let's Play Extravaganza, whatever you wanna call the channel, but whatever. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know any feedback in the comments if you want me to slow down on text or whatever, and I will see you tomorrow. Maybe, bye.